Hello YouTubers, this is Eric. Today I'm not on the roof, but as usual I'm gonna I'm gonna make this video uh, to share my knowledge about. Uh, by the way, uh, my name is Eric Garcia. Um, 39 years old. I started roofing in 1995 when I was 18. So I think I've been doing, I've been doing roofing for 21 years. I started as a union roofer, uh, working for local 220. I started doing TPO, um, single ply, hot mop, torch down, uh, cold applications, uh, foam applications. And then I worked for another company, you know, that did tile. I did tile for another, what, uh, four years. And then I did tile, and then I did, I did luxury stuff like, uh, <coughs> like a uh, standing sea metal roof with another three years and then I did slay shakes all the looks of the stuff for a company uh, that it's based in Newport Beach California and uh, another company that works in the Beverly Hills area where the you know the rich people are so they want only fancy stuff and I went there anyway this video is to show you some of my tricks in the trade as a roofer, you know, as a contractor, you can't just rely on uh, basic knowledge of roofing. Also, by the way, I'm a I'm a computer engineer. That's my that was my major while I was going to school. But I end up, you know, getting hooked up right here and there. While I was a roofer, I went to school and got my major. But I never really worked on computers. But anyway, uh, today I want to talk about uh, a program that is really helpful. You know, if you're a roofer. Uh, even though if you're not a contractor, if you're just a roofer, a lot of my friends tell me, how can you get a lot of jobs? How can you get, you know, tons of calls, you know? So I'm going to give you my secret today. The secret is uh, the customers that want somebody reliable, somebody's dead on time, and somebody they can rely on, you know, if they ask you for an estimate. So to do that, today I'm going to show you one of my secrets. It's called Google Earth. It's not just Google Earth, it's the pro version. It costs about 39, 40 bucks, but it's worth to, to have it because I'm gonna show you why, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it. Right here, I got it installed. Let's see, you see it's, it's popping up. And then it gives you the, uh, the welcome screen. Well, that gives you some tips. I usually close it. And then right here, you'll see all these things those are my uh, estimates that I do you see them I usually save them I have like five computers in my house and each computer has different data sometimes I'm on my laptop this is my 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 computer on my on my living room sometimes I just sit in my couch and uh, and drinking coffee and then um, you know just do an estimate from here right here where I just click right here Right here, you see it, when I'm moving the mouse right here, that's where you put the address. Okay, I'm gonna pause the, the video, so that way I can show you how. Okay guys, the, good, the cool thing about this program is when you type the address of any, of any address, it gives you a bunch, of, uh, a bunch of places where you can go. Right, right now I'm looking for 147 South Berkeley City in Anaheim. That's the one I want, I just click on it. Just click. Just highlight it and then I put, I hit search, which is search. You hit it and you see and then appears right here. And when you have the, the little thing, the little red thing, you just right, right click it and put save to my places. In case if in the future you forget the address, you, you can find it here. And then right here, the, the navigator just, just takes you straight to the South Berkeley and then uh, it highlights it. Okay. You see it right here? You have the other 147 South, Ber South, South Berkeley Street. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just double click. Let me see where's my mouse, I lost them, sorry. Oh, I think the battery moved, okay, here it goes. Okay, you just double click. So you can do like a, like a zoom in with the mouse. You see, double click. Okay, now I have the house, you know, that I want to measure. I want to measure. So as a roofer, and then right here on top of the, on top of the program, on top of the program right here, you have the ruler. 
You see the little ruler over there? You see this ruler? You take the ruler and then you you put it right here. It gives you the option of uh, convert it to feet or meters, kilometers, whatever. So in this case, I have it as feet. And then this one you have to put it on the side. Let's say for example, I uh, okay guys uh, today uh, okay I'll show you how to use the ruler you click on the ruler right here on the top again you see you click on the ruler and it comes up and it gives you the option to measure with feet or uh, meters or whatever and then you click on one side you click and then you take it to the other side and then it gives you the measurement let's say and then we want to take it wherever you want to go you just click again and it gives you the feet it says 23 feet you see now if you want to measure, let's say for example, across this thing, you just go from here and go across like this. And that gives me 22 feet. Let's say if I want to measure the main house, I go from here and then I go to right here. That's the other side and that gives me 47.58. So you just round it up to 28. So as a roofer, you're supposed to know from here Take it here and go across. Boom, you drop it. That's 28 feet, that's 30 feet. So imagine that there's an imaginary line from here. So forget about the the valleys, you know, just just imagine a line across and that's it. And this is my flat roof. You see how basic it is, boom. You click here and then you go to the other side. That gives me 2750, that's uh, 28 feet. You take it from here, you go here, boom, you drop it. 16 feet you want to measure the roof uh, the ridge you can take from here to here this is a, the ridge boom that's 36 feet that's 37 feet you want to measure the other ridge take it from here boom Tra that's 32 feet that's 32 feet so that's basic you know uh, so that's going to give you an idea you know how to measure a roof you know with google pro this is google earth pro you see it on top google earth pro it's a pro version. Don't use the free version because the free version doesn't have the future. So it's it's worth it to pay the thirty bucks. I I didn't pay anything. I'm I'm a, I'm a computer guy, so I don't pay for programs. But anyway, I don't. I'm not telling you to go steal it or go buy it from somebody else. Just buy it online and then pay thirty bucks. It's worth it. It's gonna save you a lot of gas. It's gonna give you the advantage. So if somebody wants a, a roof like that and just tell them, you know what. Uh, uh, I'll measure it and then uh, I'll send somebody or or you tell them straight out you know I have a program that can measure roofs so I don't have to go to your house and that's gonna save you a lot of gas a lot of time sometimes I do two three five estimates in a day and I tell you know people then uh, I'm busy all the time do you see how much uh, how many uh, houses I measure just on this computer you see you see it that's my kid uh, that's my kid uh, crying in the back so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this video guys and uh, and uh, and see what my baby wants. But anyway, greetings to all the roofers out there. Greetings to to all the roofers of the north of the country, uh, east and the west, whatever you're watching it in another country. This is Eric Garcia and greetings to everybody. Bye bye. Again, YouTubers, this is Eric. Uh, I want to show you another cool feature about this thing. Okay, right here on the on the right hand side. Where's my thing? Okay, right here. Right here, you can uh, you can adjust it. You see, you can uh, click on the on the thing. You can move the the satellite. And right here, it has like a little human figure. You can drag it, and you can drag it and just place it on the street like this, and then it'll take you to a street view. You see it? It's taking me to street view now, so I can see the house. She's taking me there, it's taking me there. It doesn't give you a real time, but at least it give you it gives you the uh you see this is the house right here. You see it? When the Google car came through the street, and then if you're not quarreling in front, you can just click right here, let's say a little bit here, and then you turn around, you can have a better view. You see how it is? And I can see it has a T-tab right here, it has a four inch flashing. So as a roofer, 
you already know what that means you know you don't have to see it also has a fireplace I'm, I'm gonna go farther like say like here and then from here I'm just gonna turn around let's say I pretend that I'm ouch it doesn't look too good okay let's say here okay now I can see better ouch it has another pipe flashing in the back see how it looks from far away let me see let's it only gives you the uh, it doesn't give you the actual you know view but as a roofer you already know what, what that means you see it has a it has a fireplace on the bottom on the back so that means I'm gonna use 10, 10 shingles there and I'm going to use a uh, a I'm going to use a a, a saddle flashing saddle stack is called saddle stack the ones that goes to the thing you see right here there's a two inch two flashings of a four and this is a four inch four inch one and a half inch plus the one I have in the top so that gives you an idea how many flashing also I'm going to install a a dormer right here and two dormers in the back so that's the way I'm gonna do it okay and if you're gonna go to satellite view all you have to do is just click on the click on the thing that says exit street view and then you see right here I'm gonna show you see right here click exit street view and it's gonna take you to satellite view again and here you have it and then right here if you want to adjust this is this kind of like cricket just go up a little bit let me see no I actually have to go down you see and then right here you can just if you, if you lost the thing you can just drag it drag it down drag it down until you see it and then right here you can turn it around you can to the sides and right here you can go like this adjust it until you can see the house clearly you know you can turn it around you can play with the buttons right there but that's the main thing how that's how I measure my roofs okay sometimes people call me and tell me hey Eric I need a I need an estimate and I tell him, okay, I'm gonna send somebody. Are you there? He goes, no, I'm not there. Okay, I'm gonna send somebody to go up on the roof. And I just come to my, just come to my house, and I'll, or I'll tell my wife, you know what? You should measure this roof, and then she gives me the uh, measurements, and I call the customer and tell him, okay, this is how much. So remember, speed and efficiency is the key, you know, in success on when you have a business. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do the measurement. Okay. You know, this, this Eagle View program, they charge you $75 to measure a roof and they give you a drawing and sometimes they're off because I do a job for Home Depot and sometimes they give me the drawing and I go to the actual roof and I say, who the hell measured this roof? And then I measure them on my program and I come more accurate because as a roofer, you already know, you know, you know the basics. Those guys are just, they're just book smart guys. They don't even know. They're not even roofers. So they don't know what, they, you know, they don't know anything about roof. They just know how to use the mouse and stuff like that. So you have the advantage because you're a roofer, so you know the shortcuts. You know, like me, I don't have to see the the actual reach. I don't have to see the actual house. I can just measure it, and I know what it is. And 99% of the time, I'm right. So guys out there, I'm sharing my knowledge with all you guys. Even the haters, hopefully you, I can help you, you know, um, to be a better roofer. You know, sometimes... Uh, being a good roofer, it doesn't mean you have to uh, banging, you know, your, you know, shingles on the top, you know, you know, installing shingles on roof. That roofer means everything, you know. So, and I'm here to help, you know, the roofing community, the homeowners out there, you know, they want to do their own, their own jobs. And like I said, from now on, I'm only going to upload videos that I can show people something. All right. Greetings. Bye-bye okay guys uh, this morning this guy called me this is a real job okay tomorrow I'm gonna go to this job and I'm gonna show you exactly how it is okay um, this is my measurement when I measure all my measurements you know the two little things the two little uh, uh, pieces of roof that's coming out of the main house uh, one is 26 by 25 the other one's 24 by 24 uh, 48 by 30 so total gives me a total of 26.76 but since I'm working with a satellite, I know I'm gonna be off at least like one square. So instead of ordering 27, I'm gonna order 28. The edge metal, it gives me 22.5. Again, you know, sometimes you end up with a little piece of uh, edge metal and you don't want the customers to see that ugly thing. So always order some extra metal, it won't hurt you because if you're a roofer, you're always gonna use it, you know. 
I always use my leftover. The shingles in good condition, I return them to the manufacturer. Okay, now this is how I do it. Uh, I measure my flat roof, I measure my ridge. You see I write, I write the 48, 38, it gives me 126. And then on a clean sheet, oh, actually this is not so clean, I'm sorry, but this is all my thing. This is the color of the shingle. This is my OC. I know the meanings already, so I don't know how to do it. Everybody knows, okay? This is OC, Owens Corning, high definition, quarry gray is the color. I'm going to order 28 squares. I'm going to order 126 linear feet. Uh, as a roofer, you know you need a starter, so I'm going to use three bundles of Pro Starter. I'm going to use edge metal. I told you from 225, I'm going to go to 250. So 25 pieces, two by two. Two by two, I'm sorry, two by two, shoot. Two by two white. So I don't, white, I'm, I'm sorry, but it says white, okay? And then I'm gonna use the felt. I'm gonna use synthetic felt. Synthetic felt, it covers 10, 10 square per roll. So I'm gonna use three rolls, and then I'm gonna use one roll for the valleys. You know, to use it as a, as a, as a header for the valleys along the valley. And also I'm going to use valley metal. Valley metal have 64 feet. So I'm going to use seven pieces. And then coil nails, I'm going to use one box of seven eighths and one box of one inch. The reason I'm ordering is seven eighths because underneath the starter board, you don't want the, the, the nails to show. Okay, guys? Also on the flat roof, I measure 28 by 16. So that gives me 448 square feet. Remember, a square is 10 by 10. That gives you squares. So 448 feet, it's 400, almost in 50. But since the roll, you know, comes in 100 square feet roll, so you need five rolls. Uh, the roll of torch, the guy, he wants me to match the color of the shingles, so it's going to be a slate. And he wants just a regular, basic uh, torch down, two-ply. That's what he wants, okay? Two rolls of uh, base sheet, I need... One roll of base sheet, it'll cover 300 square feet. But the, the one sold me the other 200, so I have to buy two rolls. One spray primer, the asphalt primer, and the edge metal. I'm going to use 2 by 6 no riser, because you're using torch. You, you never use uh, edge metal with riser, okay? For torch now, because it's going to back up the water. So this is a basically, uh, a basically stuff about my program, okay? Hopefully you like it, and uh, like I said, uh, I'm a professional roofer, and this one, it gives me the advantage to a lot of roofers out there that still go with the ladder, you know. Oh, you know what? Let's make an appointment for Saturday. Let's make an appointment for this thing, and they're spending gas, you know, wasting their time, and sometimes the client, you know, they, they okay, okay, I want to do the job, but you have to wait another two months, and then who's going to pay you for all the expenses? So you have to get smart. If you don't know about computers, Probably like, like one of your kids, you know, they know about computers. Tell them to teach you a little bit. And uh, like me, I'm a computer guy. So all my house is, is uh, 